Hey guys. Um, it is Thursday 29th. <laughs> I'm not sure. Thursday the 29th right now at the time of recording. Um, Axel is in school. I just put Archer down for a nap. I don't know how that's going to work. These kids are sick. Like they had colds and then they got better and now they are sick again. They are snotty and coughing and no fevers or anything. Um, they were just on antibiotics for their respective ailments, you know, a couple weeks ago. So it's obvious that it's viral, it's respiratory. I, I don't know if it's like the respiratory flu. We haven't gotten our flu shots yet. Normally we get them at the beginning of October. I just, we do, oh my God, it's just crazy. And then last night I found a flea on one of my cats. <laughs> I just can't even. I just can't even. So everybody got treated again last night. I bombed the basement again. And I just, I just can't. And Archer's been getting up for hours in the middle of the night. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't know. So anyway. Let's get started. Um, we're going to start out with my works in progress. There has not been any stitching in the last few days, but I did get some stuff done. Excuse me. Um, my lighting is horrible. It is, it is a true fall Michigan day today. It is cloudy. It is cold. It is windy. It is wet. Of course it is because Halloween's in a couple days and why not? So everything might be a little off. Um, so we're going to do my works in progress. We're going to talk about a little bit of haul that I got, um, a little bit of uh, plans for 2016, a teeny tiny bit because I'm just not, I'm just not there yet, but I have an idea. And then um, Pam Reed just did a crafty tag and I can't remember what it's actually called now. I should have looked that up, but I didn't. And um, it was fun. And so I've got some stuff here that I do to show you guys. Um, and I will make sure that I link the original video of PMs below so that you can check that out and maybe do it too, because I love it. I, I thought that was a great tag. So let's get started with my works in progress. Um, no, I'm only working on two things right now. And, um, the first one is this, um, factory don't blink this looks a lot better over here than it normally does in my other place um this is for my son AJ like I've said and it seems like the last time I definitely didn't have these two lines done I'm trying to do a line every time I pick it up yeah and I know I remember working on this recently too so anyway that's coming along I get better when it's dark um, it shouldn't, I don't, I don't know how I like, it's the Ada. I'm not a fan of, I don't know if it's just this Ada, 16 count, um, 16 count Ada in Gothic from Picture This Plus. It's beautiful. I just don't, it's like it's splitty or something. I don't know. Not my favorite. Not my favorite. I don't know. Um, the second thing that I've been working on is the Plum Street Sampler 12 Days of Christmas freebie that they're just putting out. I've only gotten one done. Um, I have used up almost a whole skein of this red. So, you know, my last video, I was really petrified that it wasn't going to be enough. And it sure as hell is not going to be enough. So I did order a couple more skeins um, from... A website that I haven't gotten yet that I ordered some other stuff on and I'm probably gonna order a few more skeins and we're just gonna we're just gonna run with it I'm not at all convinced that the, the dye lots are gonna match but hopefully they're similar enough that it won't matter too much so there's that I do plan on um, picking this up again soon oh and I made this grime garden isn't that fun? It's uh, Lori Holt fabric from Flower Patch. You really can't see it because my lighting is just terrible, but it's cute and it's fun and I made it and because um, I needed a bigger one. So, oh, my neighbors, 
across my backyard or building an addition and I just heard hammering and I was like, what is hammering on my deck? But it's not, it's my neighbors. Anyway, it's been a little cray cray. Um, haul, I have gotten a few things. A lot of my stuff hasn't come yet, but I have gotten a few things. Um, I did get a couple needle minders from Jeannie at Minding My Minders on Facebook. And, oh, where are my other ones? Oh, I think they're all over there. I'm going to have to leave the camera. Dang it, I got more than I thought. I was thinking, I, I know I bought more than this. But these are two that she had listed. Um, you know, I love my owls. And what's really hilarious is I'm pretty sure Molly Peckham got these two. So we're like Needlebinder uh, twins. Aren't they cute? And this guy... It's like a scholarly owl or something, but he reminds me of Christmas. I don't know if it's just the colors and that looks like a saint. I don't know. These are cute. These are cute. I like these a lot. I'm going to have to slap these on something. Um, I have to go get my other stuff. What a weirdo. Stay right there. Pants. All right, sit down. Shake, shake, shake. Okay, so those are needle minders from Jean. I also placed my first order with Delicious Threads. Um, she has a Facebook site and an Etsy shop. I ordered them from Facebook. Um, I've also been following her for quite some time on Instagram, not realizing that she did needle minders. Hmm. So I got eight. They were a great price and I was a little worried about the button ones because some people when they do fabric buttons, the fabric feels funny. These are just, these feel nice. So these are the first four that I got. This is my favorite right here. Mostly I just sit around being fabulous. Word, right? That's what I do. I sit around and be fabulous all day long. Um, the fabric's really soft. I don't... Mm. I don't know what it is, but I love it. And then these four. So I first saw this one, I think I've seen it a couple times on Katie the Stash Queens um, on some of her whips, and I loved it. And she had mentioned in one of her last videos where she got it, so that was the day that I went out and got these. Love them. So thank you, Jen, from Delicious Threads. Uh, check out her Facebook site. Check out her Etsy shop. Um check her out, get some needle binders. They're awesome. Um, okay, so I don't have them all now, but I'm pretty sure I just finished off my Prairie Schooler Santa collection. I'm very excited. I found um, a set of six on eBay, and, and I know that I have a couple duplicates now, so I'm going to have to figure that out. But I found a set of six on eBay for de decent price. My Thing was that I was not going to pay more than $5 per card. I just wasn't. I wasn't gonna. And I realized that some of these are probably out of print, but I just couldn't until I just couldn't. So anyway, so all of my Prairie Schooler Santas, I have paid four bucks or less for even the old ones. So from eBay, I got this one, which is the 1984 and they don't have the year printed on them, so that makes me kind of nervous because then I keep thinking maybe these are the wrong ones. But it says 1984 on the back. I'll have to research it a little bit, but as far as I know, this is it. 1984. This one has a hole in the corner, which I'm not thrilled with. That's okay. 1986. This one's 1988. It's so loud. It's not as loud as my dog snoring, though. Can you guys still hear her, even though I'm not sitting right there? Um, 1989. I like that one. Oh, it's like a little bird seed. That's fun. Um, 1991. I like this one, too. It's very vibrant, the colors. I like it. 
1993. So those I got from eBay. I'm thrilled to add those to my collection downstairs. Um, definitely looking forward to putting those, putting those in there and taking inventory again. Um, what else did I get here? Oh, this is just magnets <laughs> from Etsy to make my own needle minders. There's nothing to see there. My Just the Threads came. So this is what I have decided for, for my Just the Threads because they're sending so many different things. I am going to, and this is no revelation to anybody, but I have an idea of what I'm going to do with these. So let me show them. Some of these anyway. This is BFL Wool Sparkle. BFL. I used to know I have BFL yarn. I can't I can't remember what it's what it's for. That's a nice burgundy color and it does have a little bit of shimmer to it, which you can totally see right now. See how that sparkle's picking up? But it's not sparkle. It's it's just like a shimmery thread. It's really strange. Gorgeous. Um green leaves by Sanibel the Thread Gatherer, Green Leaves, and this is a kid mohair. I love the way this feels. I have yarn like this, um, probably a little bit thicker, but I might have some lace weight yarn like this. But it's beautiful, variegated greens, just gorgeous. This, Karen Watt Wildflowers. I don't know what color this is. It's a brownish, reddish, a terracotta color. It's a little bit darker than what's showing up on the camera. Colors 1112. I don't know what color it is, but it's gorgeous. I like it. Um, a Gentle Art Limited Edition. I don't, I don't, I mean, I like them. I don't like these because they don't have names. Confusing. So this is like a, a another terracotta e color with some tan variegation. Um, it's pretty, just cotton. I love the gentle art. I love the gentle art. They're my favorite variegation. And this is Threadworks Expressions Cotton and Rayon 5050. 2341 must be the color. I don't know. It's like a, a tan and it feels really nice. I don't know how I will use that. I don't know if you're supposed to rip that apart or not. I don't know guys. Do you, do you pull it apart? It's three ply, I think. Gosh, I don't know. I have to figure that out. For all your stitching needs, it says. I don't know. So I really like these. And so when I was getting these out, I just happened to the same day purchase Fibery Friends from the Frosted Pumpkin. And some of these colors I think would go great in that. I do, I think they would go great. And also, which I think I was gonna mention later and I might still, um, I also joined a 2016 sale that Adele and um, her buddy Shan are moderating, I'm assuming it's their group, for the Clouds Factory um, Magical Creatures calendar. I joined that, purchased the pattern, and I do believe that I'm going to substitute some of my specialty threads um, in, in, this, in the Fibery Friends pattern and the Magical Creatures. I have not kitted them up yet. But I plan to, and then I will play with those. So, just the threads came in. Love it. I think I love this package more than my first one, and maybe it's just because I have an idea. Right, Trisha has a plan. I don't know what the plan is, but I've got it. So there was that. Um, I also found a cute little shop. I don't know if it's cute. It's an online shop um, in Michigan, Brutus, Michigan, which is the tip of the Upper Peninsula from what Google Maps showed me. They also had some Prairie Schooler Santas that I did not have, and they were four bucks each. Um, I did pay for priority shipping, so that did raise it to almost five dollars each, but it was totally worth it. I literally placed my order Sunday night. They shipped it Monday morning 
at 8.30 a.m. and I got it on Tuesday. It was crazy. Um, the If you're interested, I don't, I'm sure that they still have them. It's crossstitchers.com. All one word, crossstitchers.com. I'll link it below, um, and it's from Carrie's Creation. Carrie's Creations Village Cross Stitch at crossstitchers.com in Brutus, Michigan. They were so fast. I didn't talk to them or anything, but I imagine them to be pleasant people. So I purchased, and they're all, and these are brand new, perfect condition. I'm so excited. So excited. Uh, $19.99. Nine, no, 2000. 2001. Which one is this? 2002. I don't like this one. Mm. Not really into Americana things, and that reminds me of an Americana thing. I love this one. Uh, 2003. He's got some knitting needles, and he's do you see that? Knitting needles and he's knitting those stockings. <gasps> Super cute. I love this one too. 2004. He's cross stitching. And I think there are, there are other Santas that are doing cross stitching and knitting, I think other years. So I love those. I'm very excited again to add these to the ones that I already have. It just makes me feel good. And then I got, what did I get here? Oh, um, I went to Joann's one day and I finally, I had a 60% off coupon and I got this five seasons of quilts. I'm going to kit up one of these too for 2016. I don't know which one though. I don't know which one. Maybe I'll do this holiday one. That one's cute, right? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. And then I got Nora Corbett's Gwen for 2016. So another Mira. I think this makes my fourth or so. Um, here she is. I got all the, I, I bought the pattern and the embellishment pack from Stash Unload. Um, somebody was selling it. I kitted up all the floss, all the floss, all the floss, and I had some of this, I had linen that I had purchased from somewhere. Uh, this is a 32 count desert stand linen. 32 count. It feels really nice, I guess. So I'm excited about that. I'm going to add that to my kitted up projects for 2016. Um, and maybe I'll get to work on that. So, I have a baby that's crying. Can you hear him? He's very unhappy. Of course he is, because he's sick. So, that is all of, that is all of my works. That is all of my haul that I have gotten. I do have... I do have more Prairie Schooler Santas coming. I think the last little bit. I have one order from online that's coming. Yes. Call, it's a called Beach Beach Cottage Stitchers, I think. Beach Cottage something. I haven't even gotten a shipping notification. I'm a little worried about that. Um, but those are coming. And then I have, I think, six or ten from Stash Unload that are coming. And that will be it. And then I have to go through and pull out my duplicates. And that'll be it. I'll have them all. And then I need to start stitching them. So, I'm going to... I'm going to go tend to my kid, I think. I might just pull him out of bed and let him play while I do my tag. So, because I said I was going to do this tag and I have tons of stuff just sitting out that I'm looking at that I really would like to handle. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to pause this for now, take care of some of this stuff, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do Pam's tag, okay? See you in a minute! <laughs> See, the minute I turned off the camera, he was quiet, and then the minute I turned it back on, he's crazy. So anyway, we're just going to run with it. Pam Reed's tag. 
The crafty tag. I think that's what it was called. I don't remember now. I'm so sorry, Pam. But basically, it was literally two questions. One, do you do anything other than cross stitch? Sub question, show us. Two, what else would you like to learn if you don't do anything other than cross stitch? So I do do things other than cross stitch. I uh, quilt first and foremost. I do a little bit of sewing that's not blankets. Um, I knit, I crochet horribly. Excuse me, I have done some weaving, which I did not bring up. Um, I actually sold my rigid huddle loom and my little square looms because I wasn't doing anything with those. And I used a scrapbook and I didn't bring up any scrapbooking stuff because I probably haven't scrapbooked in 10 years. So I brought up um, this is actually for a Secret Pal project. It is a um, composition cover and I made it and obviously I made it. Um, it has a little string there that I put on and a little pen holder and it's fully covered and has the pockets inside that you can switch out. And then I did um, raw edge applique here and got that done. Her name starts with a J. So I need to mail that out actually because it, it's due this month and it's the end of the month. Um, I also, oh, here's another grime guard that I made. I mentioned that I made the grime guard, so I have made two grime guards. Nothing, nothing too fantastic. Um, I quilt. So I'm going to insert a picture of the quilt that I just finished. It was a custom quilt for a customer, a guy that my husband worked with. So I will insert a picture here. Um, that was the largest piece of applique that I've ever done. I quilted it on my long arm. Um, I hope he likes it. I haven't heard yet. Leaf took it in today to give to the guy. So I'm assuming that he likes it. If he doesn't, I don't know. That was an investment that he should have made. Um, I brought another quilt that I have long armed, but I haven't put the binding on yet. See, it's raw. But I brought it upstairs because I'm going to do it. This is a quilt for my son that I started quite a few years ago. <laughs> I just haven't done it yet. And then I long armed it on, on my long arm um, in this star pantograph. And you can see, so this is the second thing that I've ever long armed for real. And my tension went really bad. So this one went twice. Now my kid won't care. Um, that was unfortunate. This, this actually broke my machine for a while. Um, I blew a fuse and um, I found after scouring a Facebook group for long armors and calling my rep, my sales rep, that the manual for my long arm does not give all of the places you're supposed to oil your machine. So my machine was in desperate need of oiling and I didn't know. I was very unhappy. Um, so that needs to get done. I'm going to try to work on that actually this week. Um, I knit. I hear that whiny baby. I knit. Here are a couple things that I have knitted. This is a uh, tote bag and I will link patterns below as I can find them. Um, this is made out of hemp. It's also dusty and I really like this because it stretches. I think it's called a market tote. I'm not for sure. So this was fun. This is one of my first knitting projects. I really like it. And because it's hemp, it could get wet and it will just dry itself. You know, set it in the sun. It doesn't get, it's, there's nothing too terrible about it. Um, I knit this hat. This was like a mystery moray. I knit this a few years ago. I'm going to try it on. It's, yeah, this is it. Isn't that fabulous? It's warm. I uh, used just some stash acrylic yarn. I'm kind of a yarn snob, so um, acrylic isn't my favorite, but I did it. I like it. I'll link it below. I uh, made this cowl. It's a honeycomb cowl. It's made from Madeline Tosh fabric. It is so soft and wonderful. I will link that below as well. I really like it. Um, I think it's Merino. Did I say that? Madeline Tosh Merino. I had another skein of this in a different color and it got, it was so 
snaggy. Um, like I was trying to cake it and it kept getting tangled. I threw it away. It was like a $30 hank of yarn and I threw it away because I got irritated. That was a few years ago. And then I also crochet badly, but I did make this. This was um, a quick cowl in crochet. I made it from Lion Brand Homespun Yarn. And the pattern came from the Crafty Gemini YouTube channel. I'll link that below. It is very large. It took two um, skeins of yarn. It is very warm. It is very soft. Again, this is acrylic yarn. Not my favorite, but this stuff feels good. And because it's acrylic, you can wash it and dry it. So I like this a lot. I actually finished this when I was in Florida this year. Um, there are lots of things that you can, you can do with this. So I love it. I need to pull this stuff out. It's, it's cold enough today. I need to do that. So those are the things that I brought. There's other stuff that I do, but you know, I can only bring up so much stuff, especially with Mr. Whiny Pants in the background. Um, the second full question was, what would you like to learn? I want to learn how to macrame. I don't know why. I think macrame would be fun. I have like this vision of this macrame owl hanging on my wall. Macrame. Does anybody know how to macrame? Can you show me? That'd be great. Okay. Well, that's it. It's a quick one. I know that um, Axel will be coming home from preschool, well, in about half an hour. Archer's really mad in the background because he probably hears me talking. and He's like, hey, I'm not going to take a nap because I don't feel good. And who naps? I didn't get to talk about, I didn't get to talk about my 2016 plans. But, oh, so I want to say, remember my last video when I got my picture of this plus fabrics and those um, crystal ones? I was just like, why did I order these? I ordered those for a reason. I ordered those so that I could do the, oh, is it Ink Circles or is it Glendon Place? Whichever designer has the um, mandalas, the ghostly mandala and the Holly Jolly one, I think it's called. Those are the called Ford fabrics. And those, that's what I bought those for. I figured it out after, after uh, my video posted. Isn't that funny? So yeah, so I feel a little bit better about that. Okay, kids, I'm going to go um, because cranky babies. I've said that like five times now. Hope you guys have a great week. I will update again in hopefully a week or so. I hope my household is a lot healthier than what it is right now because it's not and it's terrible. It's terrible. Have a great week. I'll talk to you later. Bye.